how do we build a more tolerant society? How do we build a society that actually uh, provides economic opportunities for people spanning different ethnicities and different religious groups? These are the type of questions that are essentially answered through the humanities. We wanted to draw on all of our strengths to produce a really innovative major for the present, for the needs of a reflective, self-cultivating individual today. It brings together history, philosophy, religious studies and literature and is unique in its formulation. What students need today is flexibility. They need to be able to fit themselves into changing circumstances, changing job markets and changing technologies. And the ability to be flexible in that way is something that is taught in comparative liberal studies. This is a myth that people who do humanities and the social sciences and liberal studies, uh, they remain unemployed. And I don't know of any single student who is not doing well in terms of worldly matters. In terms of academic matters, they are in Harvard, they are in Chicago, they are in Berkeley, all over the place. So they have done very well. If you are to produce leaders in your society, whether administrators, whether educators, or whether philosophers, they are needed to have a subtle grounding in a whole arena of knowledge. Only then can one seek long-term solutions that can bear fruit. It doesn't matter what you're doing, people in leadership positions have this necessary reflective quality. Where does that reflective quality come from? Can we not train students to develop that reflective capacity? That is precisely one of the aims of CRS.